not that much frequent and it is exactly same as that of the previous problem we saw yesterday it simply says that we are given the root binary tree and usually for a binary tree we are given the root and we are also having an integer target we have to delete all the leaf nodes with the target which means that if we see what's a leaf node if i ask you what is a leaf node leaf node is a node whose left and right child is null okay make sure these are important things which help you draw the complete algorithm now they have given a specific note the note is that once you delete a leaf node with a target it's if its parent becomes a leaf node and has a value of target it should also be deleted with you and it should continue as we go up which gives a very big flag it's not a red flag it's a green flag but it's a very big flag the flag is like as in like the hint is that if i delete something then its parent will become a leaf node then he should also be deleted as you can see he is also being deleted and thus again so as i because earlier it was having some child left child but when he was deleted he became a leaf node a new leaf node and thus he also needs to be deleted so we can easily see one very basic thing the operation the first operation needs to be performed on the leaf the first operation needs to be performed on the leaf then then okay then when the leaf is done then i'll go up and then i will check again my this node and then i will perform the operation again on it so we can easily see that the operation which are being performed on this are from bottom to up in these kind of situations whenever we have for sure we have to traverse this entire tree while traversing while coming up i will perform the operation so i know that in the general recursive or dfs which we write we simply write, okay solve uh like just simply add a solve function and we are usually given only the root which is let's say the node it is a root it is a root node and now in this case we are also given the target right now we know one thing for sure that i will call i i will call my i will call my right and like left and right left and right left i I call my left again. I never know what is my uh, what is my return condition. I never know what's my base condition. I never know what's my other condition. But I'm just writing very basic stuff of a simple recursion, and then go and solve for nodes right, nodes right, and then target. So it is simply going and trying for left and right again, entirely going down. Now I know primarily one thing. While coming back. i need to perform this operation of checking and then removing this node from the tree so what i will do okay i will simply check that if firstly if it should be a leaf node so i'll just simply have a check that brother if this node is a leaf node how to know simply if the node's left is null and the node's right is null then it is very obvious it is a leaf node it is a leaf node but i have to remove it only and only when it is its values are equal to target so if its value is equal to my target then i should remove it now ideally when we say remove it you ideally also should like remove this from the memory but in lead code case this as this tree is actually built by lead code so for we have already tried this but uh, in c++ you, you cannot remove it as in as in you cannot delete it so what you will do okay you will instead simply can return something that bro uh, because i know that this solve function is calling so someone is calling him which means his parent is calling him his parent id is calling him so i will say bro he is no more there so assume there is a null in place of him assume there is null in, in place of him so i will return a null to his parent so i realize that my parent will actually be asking me which means my node left will go and ask me to solve for that specific value same way my node right will go and ask for ask to solve for that specific value right if i know that i am re returning a tree node pointer as you can see it will return a tree simple tree node pointer so i know that my return type should be a tree node pointer okay but still it is not completed because uh, if i see that this is my closing bracket and with this case i have i'm only concerned if with this case i'm only concerned about actual nodes what about these nodes which are leaf nodes but not having value equal target okay for these nodes simply return what's your value they had which means i'll simply return their corresponding value which means i can say simply say nodes value but 
I can easily see it is a pointer. So simply return the node itself. If it is a normal node, simply return the node. Now coming on to a simple base case because that's the only thing remaining. Uh, base case for sure. We know that if what if because we are trying for node left, node right, we have to make sure that node should not be null. Else it will give a runtime exception. So a simple in a that's mostly the general base case for our three conditions that if my node is itself equals to my null, then I should return something. Now return what? I have to return some tree pointer. I can simply return a null itself here. So I can simply re return a null here. And thus I guess I've simply built my answer. See, if we, if I go back, uh, what will happen for this one? It will go and call the left and then the right. Right will go later on, but firstly left will complete. Okay, for this three, he will go on the left. Okay, for this three, he will again go on the left. Oh, left, it will be null. So it will return the null for three. It will come here and it will like return a null for three. It will also return a null for three on the right side. Now three, its left is null, its right is null, and its value is also equal to my target value. Its value is also equal to my, my target value. So what I will do? I will simply say, bro, this needs to be removed. Although we should have ideally wrote a delete of this specific node, but okay, it will not work. Uh, for lead code but in general interview you can write it so you will you will do a delete which means that this is gone which means that he should re return to his parent a null so i just simply said re return to my parent a null value a null value okay then for three left portion is done he returned a null he will go to right portion he will ask for two okay uh two as you can see, 2 will go and ask for its left and right. Both are null. So, both will return a null. So, but uh, for 2, left, left is null, right is null. But the node value is not to target. So, he will come out here and he will simply return a 2 itself. So, he simply returned a 2 only. Then for 3, I know the left is null. I know the left is null. I know the right is 2. Okay. He already violated the condition of if so he will simply re return a node so this will simply return a three here now for one he will go on the right side he will ask for a three okay three he will go and ask for its left and right left is null right is null both will re return a null return a null as i can see left is null right is null left is null right is null target like node value is equal to target which is three so i'll simply have to return a null itself so i'll simply return a null here for again one, for again one, my left is three. Oh, violated the condition. Simply come back and re return the node. So, for one, I have simply now built my entire tree saying one, its left node is there. Right node is null. For three, its left node is null. Right node is my two. That is the entire tree, new tree built. And I can simply return this specific root node. Cool. Simply, let's see the answer. Again, it's very simple, exactly same code which we are calling from our main function. I'll simply call and ask to solve for my root and target. Now, make sure I'm assigning my root back because there is a chance what if the tree is something like this and my target is also a one, which means I might end up removing my node also, my root node also, because as you can see, this is a leaf node. So he will become null. Okay. He's a leaf node. He also become a null. Now he's also a leaf node. He should also become a null. Oh, so there is no tree altogether. There's null as a tree, which is nothing. The tree is vanished. So in that case, make sure that you should assign your root back and say that now, okay, because he will return a null because of this condition as it will, as it will come here for the leaf nodes. Ultimately, he will try for left and right and equal target. So he will return a null. So I should return a null and I should say that this is my new root node, which is a null and thus ultimately re re return the new root node. And as you can see, if it's a simple recursion or a simple DFS in which we go to all the nodes exactly once. So time is O of N and we know that for a skewed tree, uh, in the worst case, we can have O of N as a space progressive and that is the answer for us. Cool. I hope you guys got it. See you. Bye bye. Take care. If you have not joined the Discord, go and join for the proper discussion, healthy discussion, and being a regular. Bye bye. Take care.